Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Lay's plus. Ooh, NASA. Okay, let's go. These shapes go really well together, so I'm thinking what we do is the blue will go behind this kind of Lay's red swoosh, which kind of matches the NASA one. And then I wanna call it NASA. And wait, Laysa? I wanna call it Laysa and do it in the NASA font and then add in all these star elements to the back. So the first step is just gonna to be to get rid of all of the letters. And then I'm gonna bring the NASA logo up and put it behind it. I found the NASA font and I'm just gonna type out Laysa. I don't like that the little loopy is hidden back there. So I think I'm gonna put it to the top and select it. So I'm just gonna resize it and here is the final result. I think this one turned out so funny. The shapes work so well together. And the fact that they both have this red line through it. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Disney plus, ooh, Skyline Chili, a family favorite. Okay, let's go. So if you don't know what Skyline is, it's like a chili place in the Midwest my family loves. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is take the castle back here and kind of put it behind the Skyline logo and then change this to say, Di Skyline Disney. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select this whole logo and this outline around the logo. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the Disney castle. And I'm gonna move that into place behind the Skyline logo. Let's resize it a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and color the entire castle that Skyline blue. Lastly, I'm gonna delete all of the word chili and I'm gonna make it say Disney and here is the final result. This one does not really look that different than the Skyline logo. And I think if you were to just glance at it, you wouldn't even know, but I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have John Deere plus Twitter. Okay, I already have the vision, let's go. Okay, this one's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. Basically what I wanna do is take the Twitter bird and flip it and turn it yellow and put it in here where this deer is. But I also think I wanna give it some of the deer elements like the antlers. So the first step is just gonna be to remove the deer completely from the John Deere logo. And I'm gonna fill in the Twitter bird yellow. Then I'm going to go ahead and rotate it, flip it, I mean, and resize it so that it fits better within the box. Then the final step is gonna be just to take just the antler from the deer, place it on the bird, and here is the final result. This turned out pretty much exactly how I thought it would. I feel like the antlers on top of the Twitter bird is giving a jack Jackalope, or like one of those made up animals in the desert, but I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have PlayStation plus FedEx, okay. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we do the font from FedEx, but in the style and colors of the PlayStation logo. So for instance, taking the F and making it big and red, and then maybe taking the X so we can keep the arrow in there and turning it and making it the same colors as the S. So the first step is gonna be just to take out the F and I'm gonna fill it in red. The PlayStation logo is a little skewed, so I'm gonna do the same thing for the F. Then I'm gonna grab the E and the X from the FedEx logo and basically do the same thing for that one. So here's what that looks like. I've selected the E and the X and now I just need to make it the same colors as the PlayStation logo. And here is the final result. I think honestly, this looks really cute. I love this PlayStation logo to begin with. And it's always fun for me to see what it might look like with other logos. I think I've done the Xbox one in the past. Let me know what you think about this FedEx one though in the comments. I recently mashed together the Pringles and the Lego logo and this is the design I came up with, but a lot of you in the comments were suggesting that I should have used an actual Lego minifig head for the Pringles guy. So today, let's redesign my redesign. So first I need to find an image of a Lego head and bring that into my original design and I'm gonna remove all of the features. I'm gonna angle it like the original logo, and I'm gonna grab all the features from the original Pringles logo, and finally mask them all out, and here is the final result. I think this turned out so cute and definitely looks way more like it fits into the Lego universe. Let me know what you think about this redesign in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have Fanta plus Sega, okay. 
Okay, my thoughts for this are maybe we make all the blue on the Fanta logo be this color blue. I want to make it say Fanga, and then in each of the letters, I want to put a line going through the middle. So first step, I'm going to color it that blue. Then I'm going to mask out the letter T. In order to fit a G there, I'm going to have to move the A over. Now that I'm happy with how that looks, I'm going to go ahead and draw in a G. Okay, I've got that drawn in. Now I need to add in this little shadow that each of the letters have. And the last thing is going to be to add in this line on each of the letters. So I'm going to do that and here is the final result. Honestly, this one is not that different than the original Fanta <laughs> logo now that I'm looking at it, but I do think with the hints and the edited lines in there, it turned out pretty cool. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have McDonald's plus Duncan. Okay, let's go. So basically what I'm thinking is we make it say Mick Duncan and we kind of recreate the golden arches but using the font of the Duncan logo and then I'll figure out the colors and everything more down the line. So I'm thinking the U could be really good to recreate this shape so I'm just going to go ahead and select that and mask it out and I want to make it the same yellow of the golden arches. Okay, this is going to be a thick arch. I went ahead and duplicated it. I want to make it say Mick Duncan, so I'm going to need to recreate this M and a C using this font. Okay, I've got that all typed out. Last thing to do is just erase this part right here, and here is the final result. I wasn't sure if these three colors were going to work out together, but now that I did it, I'm so happy with how it turned out. The bubbliness of it, too, for some reason kind of almost reminds me of one of those old McDonald's playgrounds. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm going to mash them together. Okay, up first we have, ooh, Wikipedia. I've never done that one. Plus... NASA, okay. Okay, for this one, it's gonna be pretty self-explanatory. I think I'm gonna take all of the elements off of the NASA logo and input them onto the Wikipedia logo since it's basically the same shape. I wanna change this to say WASA, and then we might have to get a little creative to figure out how we can make the white stand out on this gray. So the first steps are just gonna be to select everything on the NASA logo that's not in blue. Okay, here's what we're working with. We're definitely gonna need to put some kind of stroke on the lettering, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this N and replace it with the W. I'm gonna go ahead and add a stroke around all the letters with the blue, but as you can see, this is supposed to go over some of them, so I'm gonna to need to figure all that out, and here is the final result. Honestly, every time I mash something up with NASA, it just looks 10 times cooler, and I feel like the same can be said about this one. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Whichever two logos this filter lands on, I'm gonna mash them together. Okay, up first we have YouTube plus Target, okay, the colors, let's go. Okay, I actually found this version of the Target logo, which looks very similar to this one. So what I'm thinking is, we basically take the little YouTube play button and make it act as a Target. So adding more and more layers around it. And then I wanna change the text to say, you targ. So the first thing I'm gonna do is isolate the little play button right here. Then I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just to get those added layers in there. And I'm gonna do that one more time just to get all of the layers and then I'll go back in there and get the colors right. So here's what I've got. I'm just gonna turn it white and now we have a little target. So I think what I'm gonna do is just use the same font and maybe squish the target font a little bit to match this one. So I'm gonna grab each of those, finally put it all together and here is the final result. Honestly, this one is not that different than the original two because they were pretty close to begin with, but I think the combo looks pretty cool. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. 